should start with my first experience with recognizing my sexuality was when I was in kindergarten, as early as that may seem. Um, I didn't know what it was. I didn't know what it meant. I had no idea what homosexuality was, what being gay or lesbian was, and so it was just thoughts and attractions and meaningless, you know, experiences uh, that were meaningless until I was around 11 or 12 and then that was when I found out what a gay person was and about two seconds after that I found out how the church feels about it which um, was quite crushing for me considering my entire family how I was raised was centered around this belief was centered around this ideology and I truly believed that I was evil I was corrupt I was sick in some way and so soon after that I became very depressed. I mean teenagers in general can be very depressed but then you add that onto it and it, it's hard to even live. It's hard to even go day by day not knowing how you're going to reconcile this about yourself, how you're going to create a life that is happy in any way and my experience I mean, it's a decade and a half story, um, but the most important parts have come from my relationship with my Heavenly Father and my relationship with my family. I, although my family is very um, anti-gay, meaning that they would not like me to live a homosexual lifestyle, they do believe that, um, they do believe in the gospel in the part that it says that it is a sin. However, over the years and years and years, they have always loved me. I've never felt any ounce of less than love from them. Um, and my brother and sister that live near to me, luckily enough, they have been such a support to me in that I know how they feel about it. And they know that I know how they feel about it. But we don't talk about it anymore. You know, there's no need to talk about how they don't agree with it anymore because I already know. And so instead, they just love me. And I know that, you know, if I ever bring a partner over or a girlfriend or whatnot, that they will love her the same as me. And that's really all that matters. We can have differing opinions. So that was phenomenal in my life. Um, and then also um, developing a relationship with my Heavenly Father that was very, very much so not there when I was a teenager. I thought that God hated me as much as I hated myself and therefore suicide became a real option for a very, very long time. Um, and it was a very difficult time. Uh, my, I think my friends and family, they were oblivious to the things that they did and, that's, and they said that really affected me. Um, even little things like watching TV and um, a homosexual couple would come on screen and my parents would say, that's disgusting, turn the channel. And of course, all I heard was, Heather, you're disgusting. And little things like that that would just happen periodically that taught me that there was something wrong with me, taught me that I was disgusting, even though that was not their intention at all. Luckily, um, luckily, as I became an adult, I continued to have events that pushed me closer to my faith, to my family, as opposed to away from them. I, even though I did have moments where I did push away from my family, but I had difficult things happen to me that made me cling to my Heavenly Father. And once I really got to know Him and what He wanted for me, I was able to uh, have conversations with Him that allowed me to develop peace in my life with who I am. And so today, um, being gay and Mormon is, is more of an exciting thing. It's more of a, where is this going to go thing? as opposed to what it was like before, which was very much an isolated, alone thing. But now I'm, I'm excited to educate Mormons, non-Mormons, about what it's like and, and how to help others so that the next generation doesn't have to go through what I, I went through. It's, it's a feeling of how are we going to make this better as opposed to we're stuck in this unhealthy cycle. And I, I love my life now. I love who I am. I have no problem with my lifestyle and I'm excited for I'm excited for my future relationships 
it's going to continue to be hard as far as with my relationships with my family because it took me probably a good decade to accept my sexuality and so I have to remember that it took me a decade so how long is it going to take my family to accept it you know probably two three decades and I have to be patient with that patient with the people around me that haven't had the same experiences as I, as I have had uh, definitely I see myself in the future being in a relationship with a woman that is something that I know that as a healthy individual I need. I believe very much so that I was put on this earth to be in a relationship and really to have a healthy relationship it needs to be with a woman. The way I reconciled that was you know really just self-love and, and getting to know myself. I however I, I would say that I realized that although I can be happy if I I'm not a part of the church. I know for a fact I can't be happy if I don't follow my values. And several of my values are being in a relationship, but also a lot of my values come from the church and the things that they teach. And I found that I am best able to be reminded of those values, to be to adhere to those values as I am associated with the church. Now whether or not I'm able to be a member, you know, may be a question at some point but I will always go to church. I will always pray. As long as the church is a vehicle to keep me close to my Heavenly Father, I will always go. I, I will, I can't see myself in a relationship with someone that isn't Christian, however. Maybe not Mormon, but I think the fundamental belief in God is so important in a relationship that, that she would have to be Christian and in order for us to have that common ground. And, and so I see myself um, identifying as Mormon and identifying as a lesbian. I, I, I identify as both of those right now. It will probably just become more apparent, you know, when I, when I do find that relationship. And I, I don't know when that will happen, but I'm comfortable with that. And it, I'm excited with the, the opportunity that just me existing as a person and existing as my lifestyle choices and the questions that, that will bring up. I mean, my future ward will have to adapt. My future ward will have to, I will have to sit down with a lot of them and develop those relationships in order for them to feel comfortable, you know, even having me as a, you know, as somebody in, this, in the congregation. And I have always been excited about educating people because in my experiences, I found that, you know, Mormons, they're, they're not actually hateful people. They're just ignorant on this subject. We really don't talk about it as much as it, it's necessary. And I've just had experiences where I thought that maybe, you know, Mormons or just people that weren't gay were just hateful and all those things. But then, um, you know, when you sit them down and you talk to them and this light bulb goes on for them, you're like, wow, they're not hateful at all. They just didn't know. And how could they?